Before you start actually getting down to the story, I can see you've got these characters mm. and you've got a situation. Do you, as it were, map it out? Do you then say the first bit he'll do this, the next bit he'll do that, the next bit? No. You don't um, do that? No. I, I think writers divide in two. I was once um, at a literary festival. I was sitting with Jacqueline Wilson and we were watching Mallory Blackman give a talk and Mallory pulled out these terrifying notebooks <laughs> in which she had mapped out every chapter. And I went like this to Jackie and said, do you do that? And she went, no. <laughs> so some writers, I mean, J I know that J.K. Rowling plots extensively before she writes. Mallory does. I don't. Jacqueline doesn't. What I do is I have like a few ideas that I write down. But no, I often am surprised by the ending. Um, it's a slightly dangerous way to live, but I would be too bored if I knew every single thing that was going to happen. Yes, so you want to surprise yourself. I want to surprise myself. Yeah. So it really depends what works for someone. I mean, what can work for people is writing the end first and then ask yourself, how did they get there? Um, you don't have to write beginning, middle and end. Um, you can write end, beginning, middle or yes. beginning, end and then ask yourself, what's the twist in the middle that got them that, you know, that really simple structure, you start at this point, then you end up in a different place, you're a different person, and the middle is how that happened. So you start with a beginning character or situation, yep. you have an idea of where it's going to get to mm -hmm. now. What are the twists and turns exactly. between the two? But there has to be a journey, it has to be, something has to happen, and usually it's to do with want, to me, for me it's always about wanting. What do you want? What does the character want? They have to want something. So that's to, what you're saying to the character. You're absolutely. saying, what, what do you want, Henry? What do you want, Peter? What do you want, exactly. Mandy Margaret? Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. I always, if I'm stuck especially, I, I will go back to the beginning and say, okay, what do they want? Because that gives the story a kind of energy and a yeah. push. And then what's stopping them getting what they want? And that could yeah. be almost anything. So we've got, that's what we call motive, yes? What yeah. do you want? Your motive, and it might be from your guts or from your head. Mm -hmm. What do I really want? And then we think of obstacles, things exactly. in the way, but exactly. also sometimes people help you deliberately or, or otherwise. Don't or you. don't help you. I mean, you. it's very open what that, yeah. but, but the, the asking yourself questions I think is really important. Um, and the answers to those questions are your story. And obviously these are not questions with a right answer. Yeah. These are questions, open questions that you ask yourself about your character. Um, you know, why does Cinderella want to go to the ball? Yes. What's stopping her going to the ball? She's poor, her stepsisters. What changes things for her? Yeah. So, I mean, that's a, a really classic one, but she has to want something. If yeah. she's just sitting there cleaning all day, and she cleaned, and she cleaned, and she cleaned, and they were mean to her, and they were so mean to her, and they, you know, you close the book and say, well, oh gosh, well, poor Cinderella, clunk. I think I'll read <laughs> something more exciting. Wonderful. Thanks ever so much indeed. Thank you. That's lovely that Thank you, you came Michael. and talked to us. Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber. Look out for the subscribe button. What happens, you see, is that I make new vids every few months and then I post them up one a week. So if you subscribe, you get to see the new ones just as they come hot off the press. Eww.